Hey, hey guys how are you guys doing merry christmas it's still the christmas season merry 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 christmas guys how are you guys doing i really did if you're not following me on instagram i think you should go follow me on instagram yeah for some people by the time this video will be going up yeah today is 26th i'm filming this unboxing day but it'll be going up tomorrow and um i know that by the time it goes up some people will have resumed to work so how are you? How is going back to work during the holidays? Because you know you're in the holiday mode and you don't want to work. <laughs> Just want to be at home, you know, watching a Christmas Netflix series. But yeah, it's okay. We'll be fine, you know. So yeah, I had said I was not going to film any serious video again for this for the remaining days of this year. I think I just have two or three videos to go for this year before you know we close the year and start 2024. I'm looking forward to that year because I believe God is going to do amazing things. Did I welcome you to the to the um video today? <laughs> welcome to the video of today. Welcome. Thank you for clicking to watch. If you are seeing my face for the first time, thanks for being here. And um, it's a fun place to be. You should consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you are returning to Express, thanks for being here. You are amazing. Thanks for your support always. So yeah, I was saying that I had planned I was not going to film any serious video today or for the rest of the year. Like it's just going to be vlogs, um, celebration mode and all that. Ask me why I was just scrolling through YouTube or like on my own, scrolling through YouTube. And I saw this video about submission. It was just a suggested video and I saw something about submission. I was like, ah, let's watch. Because I watched, I was like, no, no, this is some of the things she said i was like no this is some of the reasons some people are having big challenges in their marriages and i'm like okay i'll just you know come you know talk about it here because god will help us well, i know that marriage sometimes can be like the, the the what you know about marriage can be limited to what you have experience in and what maybe people around you have experience in especially when it comes to christian marriages and all yes and I think I've said this like a couple of times on this channel about submission and all that and love and all that. And something she said that I, I was like, no way, like this is not true. It was a sentence and it was around um, a family that the wife is not submissive to the husband. It's like a sheep. I might not be using the word she used exactly, but this is just the context of it all. Like a family that the wife is not submissive to her husband is like a sheep that is heading for destruction. And I'm like, no. Because, and I think this is one of the reasons a lot of women are having issues in their marriages. Because all they've been told all their lives is submit to your husband and you will have the best of marriages. But that is not true. Because what God has called us into is not for one party to be the one carrying the marriage god has not called us into a marriage where the only active thing the only active function is a function of the wife submitting to her husband and if you are going to um be honest with yourself and if you are going to be if you are going to agree with me the truth is that some marriages have experienced the wife being very submissive and the marriage still crashed Yes, I've listened to um, Pastor Midred's messages. I've listened to a lot of messages on marriages, and one thing that is like that is th that is visible across all these messages I listen to is that women are not inferior to men. Yeah, it is an instruction that God says, "Wife, submit to your husband." If it's going to be something that I'll do naturally, that I'll do, God did not say you, you like. There's no there's no instruction that says you must pee or you must poop. Or you must eat or you must you know that, that you know there are some things that come to you naturally you won't get an instruction concerning those things but if you are getting an instruction concerning something it means that it's not something that comes to you naturally it doesn't come to any woman to submit naturally it doesn't it's not like uh it's it's, it's we find it easy to submit so if i'm submitting to you it's like i'm giving you a gift and imagine that you are giving somebody a gift and for every time you give the person a gift the person keeps you know downgrading your gift the person keeps saying you know the person does not value your gifts you are giving this person this gift and the next day you are seeing the gift in the trash can you are giving this person the gift and the person is just just oh okay the person is not even say thank you like and that happens every single time you get to a point where you're like what is it safe a big a big a big 
marriage is not sustained only on the submission of the woman and like i don't even know where we got that impression from that god yes this is not me saying that the wife should not submit to her husband mm -mm. i'm just saying it is not all that makes a marriage successful submission to your husband is not the only thing you need to have a successful marriage it is not it is not all you need and this is also going to the men that might be watching this because we are, we are talking about submission and maybe the men will feel like okay i'm not the one that needs to submit so i may not be watching but for the men that be watching this submission is not all that is needed in a marriage to succeed it is wrong for any marriage any even the wife even the husband to think that once i submit to my once my wife is submitting to me our marriage will be good that is not all that makes a marriage successful if you remember osinachi she submitted unto the point of death that's not what god wants for us god does not want me to submit until i die and that is because submission is not the only thing you require to make your marriage successful okay so let me say I've, I've i've i think i've said that sentence to be up to 20 times right now since how many minutes of this video so the plan of god for a marriage for a successful marriage is the marriage where both parties are given in their hundred hundred i think we my myself and my husband have done it you know we made a video where we spoke about the fact that marriage is 100 100 from each party so you should not be like even as as the wife your husband loving you is not the only thing that would make your marriage marriage successful love you know the scripture says um husband should love their wives right getting loved by your husband is not the only thing that will sustain your marriage both parties, we both need to do our part to ensure that the marriage is successful. So the fact is, there are marriages that the husband is not loving. There are marriages that it's just one party that is playing their part. Go and check those marriages. You cannot say they are successful. Those marriages are hard. Marriages where it's only maybe the wife that is submitting and the husband is not loving. Or it's only the husband that is loving. The wife is not submitting. Those marriages are hard. It is hard on the person that is playing their part. Even though they know this is God's instruction for me, this is what God wants me to do in my marriage. The, the fact that the other person is not doing their own part, yes, I can't force the other person to do that. I, I, I can't even do that. Like, I'm not the Holy Spirit. I can't force my husband to love me. You can't force your spouse, your wife to submit to you. You can't force the other person to do what God said they should do. That is a fact. But it doesn't mean that if... You are the only one playing your path. It doesn't mean that you are the only one playing your path. It doesn't mean that marriage is successful. If it is just the wife that is submissive. Or if it's just the husband that is loving. Such marriages is not the definition of success. It is not the definition of success. So have one party, you know, do whatever they like. And the other party holding on to the promise of God. Holding on to the will of God. You know, obeying God in the marriage. It's, that's not success in a marriage. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm beginning to rant in this video. But I just feel like we should, you know, and I think okay, so I've I think I've laid that foundation. The fact is both of us need to play our part in order to say that our marriage is successful or we are, you know, doing the will of God. We are we have to both be obeying God for us to say we are doing marriage the way of God. God's way of marriage is not I'm submissive is not loving that's not god that's not god's <laughs> that's not god's way in marriage that is it that is not it so yes we are not to say because our husband is not our husband is not loving then we will not submit or we'll say our wife is not submissive submissive then we will not love no we are to keep doing our part even if the other party is not doing their part but i'm, I'm just saying that that is not god's will in marriage both of us need to do our part in order for both of us to enjoy the marriage and yeah because of this you know mindset about um once the wife the wife should just just need to be you know submissive the wife should just be submissive if the wife is not submissive the marriage will eat the rocks because of such mentalities sometimes some wives are afraid to have conversations with, and i remember just as i said i remember that pastor midred said why would i be afraid to talk to the person i'm married to like some wives are afraid to talk to their husbands like if there's something you think that is not working in your marriage 
why can you not talk to your husband to say this thing that is happening or this matter i am not you know this is not working and we need to find a way to make it work why are we sometimes afraid and it's sometimes it's because we feel like submission means you don't don't hear your opinion you cannot say you don't like something of course the way we pass across our messages matters right but it doesn't mean you cannot pass your message across if there's something that is not working in your marriage if there's, if there's something you don't like about your marriage why can why do you feel you cannot talk to your husband about it and the, sometimes you, some people will feel like ah what's the big deal why some people are actually afraid to talk to their husband about things some people feel like oh i've talked talk talk he's not listening i'm going to stop talking Sometimes you need to talk, communicate until you, you pass across your message. And of course, like the way you pass across your messages is very, very important. The time, you know, you need to be, you need to be um, um, intentional about the timing, about your tone of voice and all that. But the fact is, if some things are not working out in your marriage, you need to be able to communicate it. Submission is not you not talking out, not speaking out. And the fact is, sometimes you say you are submissive, you don't want to say anything, you don't want to, but you're, in your mind, you are irritated with your husband because you feel like this thing is supposed to get it, it's not getting, you are irritated, your irritation is not a sign of submission. You are irritated, you have, you are, you are, um, what's that word? You, you are resentful, like you are just like, like, and at that point, even whatever he's doing is not, even if he's trying to be loving, even though you are there is this outward show of submission the fact that you feel you cannot talk or you don't want to be the you don't want to nag you don't want to be like because you've been saying something over and over again you don't want it to sound like you're nagging you don't want you keep things to your mind and you become resentful you become you know you build up negative negative emotions in you something you can you know pray to god to help you talk about in a way that and sometimes and something i've also realized in this my 10 years of marriage is sometimes there's a, some, there's some things you think 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 and you ruminate and you get angry over just by yourself in your mind you fight about it in your mind you are angry you're angry you're angry at the moment you decide to say holy spirit help me i want to i don't want to have this issue i want to you know maybe talk about it i want to talk it out i want to you know let go of it in my heart the moment you decide to talk about it the way your husband will even say, ah, he's, ah, you did not, you should have told me, I did not know that. Da, 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 da. And I just remember to also say that sometimes when we want to see changes in our marriages, especially for things that are, that are, you know, um, maybe things that our spouses are used to. For example, me, I used to, <laughs> I still love to shop. I, I, I used to love, I still love to buy things. But my husband has been able to, you know, by constantly, you know, gently talking about it, constantly, you know, trying to make me see reasons why you should, impulsive buying and all that. I've been able to read. So it's me now that I'll go to the store and say, oh, this, I, I'm, I'm seeing a shirt that I like. And I'm like, oh, I have this type of shirt. I don't need to buy this one. Before now, I'll buy it. Even if I have the type, even if I have the color, if I like it, I'll buy it. By constantly talking about it by being patient with me is the same thing for me if there's something you think you want your husband to change or you want your wife to change about and the moment you are talking about it with them they are not changing immediately it doesn't mean you should stop talking about it it doesn't mean you should stop talking. it doesn't mean ah, I've, I've spoken with him about this thing once he has not changed that's the end i cannot do it again it means that you still need to, you know, patiently, gently keep reminding them, oh, this is something you promised me you would do. This is another thing you are doing. You know, patiently until you see, you begin to see change. And yes, when you begin to see those little, little changes, appreciate the little, little changes. Appreciate the li Like, don't say, ah, it's, it's supposed to have changed. Like, they cannot change overnight, especially if it's something they've been doing, like, for the most of their lives. They cannot change overnight. What am I trying to say with this video that I'm, that I'm making this afternoon? This odd afternoon. This odd December afternoon. It's strange that we actually have an odd day in December, but we love it, actually. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the success of a marriage does not lie on one party in the marriage. The marriage is the coming together of two people. And in order for that marriage to be termed successful, 
both of us need to obey God in the marriage. Obeying God means for the wife to submit to her own husband. Obeying God means for the husband to love his own wife. Obeying God means for both of us to be doing what God has instructed us to do. Do what God has instructed you to do. Yes, you cannot force the other person to do what God has instructed them to do. Do what God has instructed as your husband. Do what God has instructed you to do. As your wife, do what God has instructed you to do. See, when the two of us are doing what God has instructed us to do, that in the sight of God, our marriage is successful. In the sight of God, our marriage is in the will of God. It is frustrating if it is just one person that is doing the will of God in the marriage. Continuously, you know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes there might be some you know, random. I don't like, I don't want to do that. Random stubbornness, random coconut heads, but it shouldn't be continuous. Continuous, you are not loving, or continuous, you are not submissive. You know, for both of for, for the marriage, for both parties to enjoy their marriage, it has to be that the two of us are obeying God in the marriage. Even though I said there's, there won't be, like I told myself, I did not say it to so, you know, anyone. But I told myself there won't be any serious video this, like for the remaining days of the, like it will just be, you know, entertainment and fun and everything and vlog, vlog, vlog. But I just thought to put this out here. I pray that our marriages are blessed in the name of Jesus. I don't know. I've seen, you know, too many um, issues in marriages and I just feel like. Because the fact is, if um, if my if your marriage is not is not um, if you are not enjoying ma your marriage, it affects every aspect of your life. And I feel like there should be more people enjoying their marriages. A lot of people are not enjoying their marriages, and that's the truth. There should be more, and th and that is why when people see videos of people that seem to be enjoying their marriage, they feel like it's all a fluke, because there's more people that are not enjoying their marriages that, than the people that are enjoying. My prayer, my sincere prayer is that more people will begin to enjoy their marriages. That in your marriage you will find bliss. Marital bliss, you like you will find bliss, you'll find happiness, you'll find companionship indeed. A lot of people are married and they cannot they cannot they are not free with their spouses. My prayer is that for everyone that will be watching this, that'll be coming across this video, your marriages are blessed. Even if you are not married. Your future marriage is blessed. You will enjoy bliss in your marriage. You will enjoy companionship. You will enjoy your marriage in God's way. You both will do God's will in the name of Jesus. Your marriage is blessed. Our marriages are blessed in Jesus' name. We begin to enjoy bliss more than ever before in Jesus' name. Amen. Learn to communicate patiently with your spouse. Hmm? God bless you. Bye, guys. See you.